right, today, Man Cave Tools, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. All right, let's do a versus video between the Milwaukee Super Sawzall versus the Flex Reciprocating Saw. As you guys can see, there is a bit difference in size, so please subscribe to the channel. And in today's video, we are gonna be using an eight amp hour high output on the Milwaukee and an eight amp hour lithium on the Flex. Both of these have 21,700 cells. Battery on the Flex is full and battery on the Milwaukee is full as well. Let's dive a little bit deeper into these tools, look at the specs, then just get to it. So first, the Flex. The Flex does have a rafter hook. It has a lock and unlock feature. If this is variable trigger only, this does have a pivoting and adjustable shoe. It does have a shoe that you just can flat out take out and adjust, so you could use a different part of the blade. Put that back in. To insert a blade, all you gotta do is adjust the collet. The blade goes in just like so. And it's in. It does have orbital features, so if this is up, it is going just going a straight. And if it's down, then the or orbital feature is activated. The weight of this tool only is seven pounds and six point three ounces. And then we have the Milwaukee Super Saws. All this is the best Milwaukee uh, can offer when it comes to reciprocating saws at the moment. That might change in the future. It does have a speed selector. It goes from one. To five it does have a lock and unlock feature it does have a metal rafting hook orbital features on the top if it's facing towards you then that it uh, it is just going back and forth but if it's facing forward then the orbital feature is activated I have a very easy adjustable shoe you just flip that and then you could just adjust it as you need and this is actually pretty long so you could use a, use this on longer blades to so use different part of the blades. And the same thing to insert a blade, you just adjust the collet. And there you go, now it's locked into place. And the Milwaukee Super Sawzall weighs tool only. Eight pounds and 13.1 ounces. So let's have a bit of fun and see what these can do against each other. All right, in this video, we are gonna uh, cut wood and metal. Got two brand new blades each for the metal and wood for each reciprocating saw. All right, so we are gonna do the flex first. We are gonna do regular mode and uh, orbital feature as well for both of them. We are gonna save the orbital feature for the four by six. So yeah, we're just gonna use the regular straight cut for now. See what this can do. We're gonna do three cuts in a row. Right, let's do the third cut. All right, let me do three cuts with this. Orbital feature is off. It's on speed five. It's unlocked. All right, that's three cuts, so they're even. All right, we're gonna do three cuts and we're gonna add them all together. My bad. Time. And this is variable trigger only, you guys. There is no speed selector on that. Flex sent me this, by the way. I did not buy this. Flex did send me this to test out, and I get to do what I want with it, which what I want to do with it is versus videos. Orbital feature is off. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the Milwaukee reciprocating saw actually seemed to perform a, a little smoother than the Flex did. And just so you guys know, when it comes to having a string on here with a weight, I'm not a fan of that because you guys know if you hold the tool with both hands, you could feel if the blade is just stroking back and forth and not moving, then you can make a slight adjustment for it to bite back into the wood. So I'm not a fan of the string with the weight. I need to feel what the tool does for an accurate reading. We have a one by six right here. I needed to break this down anyways. We are gonna do three cuts in a row. I'm gonna add them all together. Then we're gonna do another three cuts in a row with orbital feature. Let's see what the difference is between those. Uh, 
that's three cuts. Let's do regular three cuts on the Milwaukee. All right, this time let's do orbital feature. Orbital feature is on, because it's pointing down. Time. Battery life on the Flex is still full. These, these batteries might go down one bar. It's an eight amp hour battery. Both of these companies are very good at keeping their uh, their higher amp hour batteries charged up. All right, so now let's do the orbital feature on the Milwaukee. It's still on speed five. I feel. I do feel that the orbital feature on the Flex is a little bit smoother than the uh, the Milwaukee. A lot of extra vibration on the Milwaukee's orbital feature, but that's not exactly a deal breaker. I gotta blow this off. All right, so let's do a four by six. This task is, is what's gonna separate the men from the boys. This task is a tough cookie. We are gonna test this we're going to do two cuts each without orbital feature, then two cuts each with orbital feature. Let's see how this does. All right, now let's whip out the Milwaukee. Oral feature is off. Wow, I can tell that the Flex actually, I think the Flex got that one. I can feel that. Yeah, I feel that the Flex got those. I, I really do feel that way. But let's see on how the, uh, it actually acts with the orbital feature on both tools. All right, orbital feature is on. It's good that the Flex put orbital feature on there because uh, other brands don't have orbital feature and it, for those who want an orbital feature just to destroy stuff, it's a good option to have and I'm glad both of these tools have it. And uh, one last thing, there's no point on putting nails in here because putting nails in here would just be a, a blade test. And uh, we've already proven that Milwaukee's, Milwaukee's uh, recip saw blades are fantastic. The uh, nails in here are not gonna slow this tool down at all for both Milwaukee or the Flex. One more orbital. Time. We're gonna do orbital on. Go a little bit more. Perfect. Time. Time. Not too shabby on either of them. Not too shabby at all. That's a hard task, you guys. Cutting a four by six like that in seconds, that's a, that's a hard task to do. The last test, let's cut metal. Just to let you guys know, when it comes to cutting metal, I only do a couple of cuts because a lot of reciprocating saw of metal cutting blades, they don't last that long for a good reading. After like about three or four cuts, the blade just gets so worn out that it's the, the fifth cut is gonna take forever 
compared to the first cut. So we're gonna do four cuts each and we'll see what the results are. Like I said, we got brand new blades for these, for each of these tests. All right, so let's do four cuts. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna add three of them together. Then the last one, we're gonna time it against the Milwaukee's last one. And then the first three cuts, we're gonna add them all together for both tools and compare the times. Orbital feature on metal is useless. You do not want orbital feature on metal. That's just gonna completely destroy the blade. See, that's a nice smooth cut. Like the fifth cut is not gonna be that smooth. One more cut to add them together. All right, then we're gonna, t uh, the last cut is for the timing for the last cut on the Milwaukee. And we're also gonna time that right now against the first cut that the Flex did with a brand new blade. Let's see what the difference between the last cut and first cut is. And we got a last blade with the Milwaukee. Used brand new metal cutting blade. There we go. Orbital feature is off. Battery still full on the eight amp hour. Still full. There are eight amp hour batteries, you guys. It takes a lot to drain eight amp hour batteries. Va like eight amp hour batteries will like last a short time in a vacuum or in like in a leaf blower or something. Bad. All right, last cut for the three in a row. sure we're in focus all right the last cut we're gonna time this cut with the first cut that this blade did then we're gonna time this against the last cut for the flex See, they're both fantastic tools, you guys. They are. And I give Flex props for making this as small as they did. I could tell that Flex lost some and Flex won some. Milwaukee won some, Milwaukee lost some. I can tell that, you know, in certain situations. But that's the reality, you guys. That's the reality of what these tools actually do. I drop my tools as well. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Alright guys, so as you can see that both of these reciprocating saws are very powerful. They're both good purchases. They both are up there in price. But when it comes to deciding which one of the, these you need, that depends on what store you go. A lot of people like to go to Lowe's. A lot of people like to go to Home Depot. Since Home Depot is more popular than Lowe's when it comes to tools, everyone knows that Lowe's and Menards is the place to go for wood. Home Depot's wood isn't that great. So a lot of people go for the Milwaukee because of the location of where they could buy it. And a lot of people also buy it online over at the stores and the Milwaukee uh, website. But yeah, but both of these are pretty good. Flex is actually a very powerful reciprocating saw for its size. Since the battery sticks out on that, I gotta take that out. So as you can see in size, Flex is actually smaller, which for the size, it's actually very powerful. I do not know the test results until I edit the video, but yeah, but both of them are good choices and good purchases, and they both will do the job. They both are, they both barely got hot. 
that's not enough to heat these up. Blades only last so long until the test results are no longer valid because the blades are just so worn out that it's just going to take a while for them to actually complete the cut compared to the first cut and so yeah that's pretty much it you guys more versus coming recently just got the ryobi hp a brushless uh, reciprocating saw that video is coming out as well along with versus videos against the other brands but this versus video was against milwaukee and flex and there you go in my opinion they're both good reciprocating saws they both really are they're both brushless they both are very powerful and they will get the job done and of course, just because it says a name brand, even Hilti, doesn't mean the tool isn't going to break. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.